Hello everyone, it's Judy here and you're welcome to Smart Watch Soros. In today's video, we are going to be discussing tracking your sleep, blood oxygen, heart rate and stress with the Mi Band 7. The Mi Band 7 is now succeeded by a more stylish and durable Mi Band 8. Nonetheless, the Mi Band 7 year is a fantastic smart band that's a fit to track your daily activities and help you stay active while also keeping you updated to messages you receive on your phone. To track your sleep with the Mi Band 7, simply open up the Mi Fitness app. You need to configure some settings. Go to the sleep um, tab or the sleep section. Now tap on the three door that appears at the top right hand corner and go to settings. Now from here, you can set up your sleep goal. Okay, I've set mine to eight hours and you can turn on advanced monitoring. This will allow the band to monitor your heart rate and track REM sleep. So go ahead and toggle that on if you so wish. I can continue. Now you also have the option to track your breathing um, rates. Okay, so go ahead and enable that on if you so wish. Then once you've done that, go back. Now when you wear the Mi Band 7 to sleep, it will monitor your sleep in all four stages. You can see this is my result for last night. You can see that I slept 56 minutes in the deep stage. 3 hours 47 minutes in the light stage and 1 hour 8 minutes in the REM stage. You can see the Britain score at the bottom. It says everything is good. And if you go up here, from here you can view your sleep history for weeks and months. You can also view your sleep details on the band. Simply swipe up and go to go to sleep. Okay, from here you see your sleep duration and you can view your sleep um, stages. And guys, I had to test out the sleep tracking accuracy of the Mi Band 7. I wore it along other wearables like the Fitbit Versa 3, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, and the Huawei Band 7. The Mi Band 7 said I slept for five hours and 39 minutes. With the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is five hours, 23 minutes. With the Huawei Band 7, it is five hours, 43 minutes. And with the Versa 3, it is five hours, 15 minutes, with the actual sleep time being four hours, 46 minutes. Now, from my test here, you can see that there are slight discrepancies in the sleep stages. Nonetheless, from my experience with the Mi Band 7, I can say that the Mi Band 7 has actually been quite consistent in tracking my sleep. So guys, let's talk about tracking your blood oxygen with the Mi Band 7. Simply scroll through to view the blood oxygen tab, tap on it, and from here, I have not enabled this on, but go ahead and tap on the three door that appears at the top right hand corner and tap on settings. And from here, you can enable all the blood oxygen monitoring. Okay. The Mi Band 7 will monitor your blood oxygen throughout the day as long as you're wearing the band. You also have the option to enable blood oxygen alerts. So go ahead and tap on this. I have set this to 90, you can turn that off if you so wish, okay? Now once you've made your settings, you're wearing the Mi Band 7, it will monitor your blood oxygen. And from the Mi Band 7, you can view your blood oxygen. Simply swipe up and go to the Blood Oxygen um, app, okay? From here, you should be able to view your blood oxygen as well as test your blood oxygen manually. So guys, that's about monitoring your blood oxygen levels with the Mi Band 7. And let's talk about tracking your heart rate with the Mi Band 7. The Mi Band 7 is designed to track your heart rate throughout the day as long as you're wearing the band. So I'll just go to the heart rate tab here. And if I tap on the three dots here and go to settings, you have the option to enable uh, continuous heart rate monitoring. You can set this to track your heart rate intermittently every 30 minutes, every 10 minutes and every one minute. You also have the option to turn off blood oxygen monitoring completely. Right below there, you have the option to enable high heart rate alert and low heart rate alert. That is about monitoring your heart rate with the Mi Band 7. From here, you can view your heart rate history by day, by week, and by month. 
Now below that, you have the daily summary, you have your resting heart rate, you have your maximum heart rate, you have the minimum heart rate, as well as your average heart rate. And from the MIB and 7, if you go to the heart rate application here, you can view your heart rate. You can also test your heart rate manually. So guys, that is about monitoring your heart rate with the Mi Band 7. And let's go to monitoring your stress level with the Mi Band 7. Mi Band 7 will also monitor your stress level 24 7 as long as you're wearing the band. So if you go to the stress tab here, I have not enabled this on, simply tap on the three dot here to toggle it on and go to settings. Now from here, you can enable all the stress monitoring. Now you also have the option to toggle on realization reminder so that if the band detects that you are stressed, it's going to vibrate and remind you to try to reduce stress. To reduce stress with the Mi Band 7, you also have a breathing app on the device. Now once you have enabled all the stress monitoring and you are wearing the Mi Band 7, it will monitor your stress levels throughout the day. And if you go to the app menu here and go to the stress um, app here, okay, from here, you can test your stress um, level manually. And this is where your stress level is gonna show up, okay? You also have a history that shows up there. If you feel stressed, you also have a breathing app. I'll simply go back and I'll go to the more option here and you can find the breathing app here. From here, you can actually reduce stress by following a guided breathing section. So guys, that is about monitoring your sleep, tracking your blood oxygen, your heart rate, and your stress with the Mi Band 7. And that is it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. Please, if you do, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.